Today I've got some of the biggest stories of the year. Starting with Intel's next gen, Nvidia's 4090 is getting expensive, Intel could seriously be bought out, and AMD's unleashing Ryzen Max. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, for those who may not be aware, just last year, Intel completely changed their branding. Now, you personally may not be aware, simply because they only did this on their notebook CPUs. For anyone on desktop, that change didn't come. That is until now because starting with intel's next generation cpus their core ultra 200 parts intel is officially bringing that new branding to desktop and as you can see right here this one comes from well-known leaker momomo underscore us this is a leaker who's definitely gotten tons of things right in the past and as you can see he has shared the upcoming boxes for that new Core Ultra series. Starting things off, we have the Core Ultra 9 processor, and given the fact that this is the unlocked version, this should be the Core Ultra 285K. And clearly, they are going with a pretty radical design change, which isn't too surprising, given the fact that, yeah, once again, they're completely changing the naming scheme. Moving over, we have the Core Ultra 7 processor, and this looks exactly what you would expect. Once again, they're definitely going for a black design box. And finally, we have the Core Ultra 5. And of course, this one looks very similar to the Core Ultra 7. Basically, they just shifted quite a bit of the colors, added Ultra. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a pretty big design change from what we've seen from Intel over the years. And it does look pretty nice, but obviously the really important part here is going to be performance. Now, if you're someone who loves boxes, or more specifically, you like to see your PC hardware, before you buy it, there's no better place than this video sponsor, Micro Center, the one retailer that not only has anything you could need for your PC build, but the one that has it all in store. Whether it's a huge wall of motherboards or CPUs, GPUs, even custom water cooling parts. And they do all of that at a great price. Which brings me to their new clearance savings event, where they have big discounts on tons of products all month long, from AIO coolers to monitors, cases, and more. They are Already had some of the best prices in the industry, but now they're even better. I mean, that's one of the reasons I trust a micro center for my first ever PC build. Oh, and they're constantly opening up new stores, like their new Miami store. So if you didn't have one near you before, or you know where yours is already, make sure to check them out down in the description below. And next up for today, if you saw my recent video, you know that NVIDIA looks to be set to discontinue their current gen RTX 4090 and 4090D GPUs. But according to that story, that wasn't going to take place until next month. So like I said in that, if you wanted to purchase one of those, you may want to go ahead and do it, but you also may want to wait. Well, it looks like stuff is already happening because at least in Germany, prices are starting to go up. As you can see right here, it actually talks about the RTX 5000 series and the fact that they're expected to release early next year or possibly at the end of this year. So they do state with only a few months left, retailers are adjusting their pricing strategies ahead of the launch which unfortunately may mean that the RTX 4090 won't become any more affordable than it was before. Of course, I would never call the 4090 affordable by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it still is an absurdly overpriced GPU, but unfortunately, those prices are getting even worse. As you can see right here, back in August 2023, the 4090 retailed for between 1590 to 1670 euros. Then it went up a bit, but then in April of this year, it went back down. Well, as of September 22nd, it has now gone back up again between 1850 and 2000 euros. And you can actually see it right here. Looks like this one is the cheapest one at 1739 euros, going all the way up to 1949 euros. Now, you might be looking at this and saying, oh, well, this is just in Germany, no big deal. But if these price increases are because of the anticipated RTX 5000 series, you will likely see prices go up across the board. You may just want to wait for the 5000 series, though of course, who knows how expensive the 5090 is set to be. 
And next up, we have one massive story. If you've been following this channel, and of course, if you haven't, you definitely want to make sure you subscribe to GamerMeld if you love all things PC hardware news. If you have been following, you know that Intel is going through some serious issues. I'm talking, they've laid off thousands of employees, they lost tons of money in their recent quarterly earnings call, it has not been good for the company. And a little while back, there were some reports claiming that Qualcomm was potentially talking to Intel to purchase some of their like CPU teams, things like that, just some lower level CPUs that maybe Intel doesn't sell that much of. And they were looking at purchasing some of those businesses. Still a big deal, but not all that big of a deal. Well, it's now evolved into something significantly bigger. As you can see right here, this is according to Axios, and it originally comes from multiple reports besides them. And as you can see, Qualcomm has informally approached Intel about a full blown takeover. That's right. One of the largest chip manufacturers ever, or at least was, and one of just the biggest players when it comes to making processors Intel, I mean, when you think of processors, when you think of CPUs for decades now, the first thing you thought about was Intel. And it looks like Qualcomm may seriously be purchasing or at least trying to purchase the business. As you can see right here, it talks about the rapid fall from grace for Intel. It says Intel stock price has fallen by 36% over the past year, even including a small boost on Friday from the Qualcomm news. Its current market cap is around 93 billion, whereas Qualcomm is valued at around 188 billion. They go over some of the issues, obviously one of them being generative AI, the fact that Intel was sort of late to the party there and it didn't recognize how the market was about to change. And of course, Nvidia has absolutely solidified themselves as the top dog, especially when it comes to generative AI. With all of that said, there is one big hurdle, even if Intel accepts some kind of offer from Qualcomm. The biggest issue is, of course, going to be regulators. So this very well may not happen. But at the same time, I would argue that this is one of those really big lessons that you're ultimately never too big to fail. And lastly for today, we've been talking about AMD's upcoming Strix Halo series for many months at this point. This is something that I discussed months and months ago and it almost seemed like a fever pitch we're talking about an apu with a massive 40 compute units we're talking more than amd's own rx 7600 xt i mean quite a bit more this really was and is a massive story with that said we really haven't heard much new information about these in a little while well that is until now, as you can see right here from Golden Pig Upgrade Pack, of course, odd names aside, this absolutely is a leaker that's proven themselves to be accurate multiple times in the past. And as you can see, they actually shared the upcoming SKUs. And along with that, we actually have the new naming scheme. As you can see right here, AMD is going full blown Apple here. They're calling these their Ryzen AI Max. Well, the biggest skew is Max Plus, like I said, full-blown Apple, but the rest of them are just regular Max. And as you can see, we have the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, Ryzen AI Max 390, and then the Max 385. And starting at the bottom with the 385, as you can see, this is apparently said to be an 8-core, obviously 16-thread CPU as well, with 32 CUs. Obviously, that's not the 40 CU monster that we've been looking at, but that's still double than AMD's current new Zen 5 based APUs. Moving on, we have the Max 390. This one is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU with the full 40 CU integrated GPU. Then we have the Max Plus 395. This bad boy is the full beast. We're talking 16 cores, 32 threads, and 40 CUs. Not only that, but as you can see right here, at least according to this, they claim that it can allocate up to 96 gigabytes of memory as video memory. Meaning, well, as you can see right here, it says, will it become a new generation of small workstation CPUs with Rockham support? Don't forget that just recently, AMD themselves confirmed that these bad boys will be getting support for AMD's Rockham 
and with the fact that they could have upwards of 96 gigabytes of memory, this really could be a huge deal for workstations. Not only that, but we recently saw a 12 core Ryzen AI Max APU. It was spotted within Geekbench. This is specifically Geekbench AI. And in that, now the score itself was only slightly better than the current best APUs. And that's likely just because it was using the NPU, which at least according to this, it's set to only get 10 more tops than the regular Ryzen AI 9 HX370. So that really doesn't mean all that much. But one thing that is really interesting here is that at least according to this, the base frequency is set at 3.2 gigahertz. And the reason that's such a big deal is because that's a whopping 1.2 gigahertz higher than the regular Ryzen AI 9 HX370. Basically, this bad boy is set to be a monster performer with both CPU and GPU. The 3.2 gigahertz is of course for the CPU, but 1.2 gigahertz higher is a massive deal. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Andy's next-gen Ryzen Max? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to save money at Micro Center. Check those links out down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.